Bazookas were majorly buffed in patch 1.03.1, making them absolute monsters in PvP. The biggest winner of them all is by far the Earshot. This cannon does massive damage, and if you fire both at once, it is a one-shot ACS overload on almost any build. I have paired these cannons with the Javelin Alpha, one of the better bazookas from the previous patch that was also buffed. We are using quad legs, which are still incredible even after the kick and AP nerf to be able to fire these cannons while moving. I have dubbed this build the Boom Widow after the Very Scary Spider. If you are watching this day of release, I am hosting an emergency patch tournament tomorrow at 11 a.m. CSD with no bans. Bring whatever you like. Link to that video where you can sign up in the description below. Now, my friends, enjoy the absolute devastation. So up first, you can see that we're up against a Larbster, which is the double LRB, double LCS combo. They actually saw this build obliterate in the Backpad Only tournament. If you watch that, it was just absolutely ridiculous. And it won first place pretty handily. Now, like top eight was all this build, so we'll see how this works against it. I am, you know, I'm doing post commentary again. I really like doing this kind of format. It's very, very nice. I just get to talk to y'all. It's a good time. But yeah, a larvester build is really, really scary. It was actually one of the meta builds in a no bands. If you listened to the last week's armored cast, you would have, uh, you would have seen that. Uh, Bells talk about that. Good lord, the damage on ear shots. These weapons are crazy now. These might be the new dual zim. Like I'll be real. Like, your ear shot, it only got a reload speed buff, but that's all it needed, really, was just the reload speed, because look at that. Like, look at that, they're just gone! That was a heavy biped. Look at, look at my reaction, oh my god. <laughs> look at me. This is one of the first games I did, and it's just, th this, this build is just crazy. Like, the dual ear shots are just wild, guys, like, honestly. I, I legit think this might be the new dual zim. Ear shot is just crazy. It's good in threes, good in 1v1s, it's just... Boom. Die. <laughs> kind of missed time that little bit, because I should have just waited. Now, issue with this is that if they go underneath you, you do actually miss the bazooka shots, which is bad. Uh, you don't want that, but die. <laughs> Look at the direct hit damage. And I can even hit with the javelin alpha after that. Oh my god, dude. That is so funny. <laughs> Worst part about this build is that because bazookas are attacker side, meaning that... Look at me waving to the fucking opponent. That's funny. Uh, anyway... So because the bazookas are attacker side, if you are uh, if you have bad uh, lat to your opponent, like bad latency, you can just get hit by it, like, randomly, <laughs> whenever it's not even close to you, which is uh, unfortunate. But, hopefully thumbs up, fix that. I still want to make a video on, like, attacker side versus defender, what should be defender, what should be attacker, stuff like that. Uh, it, it's very important to the game, especially since, you know, it's from soft and then it code is not super great, as per usual, but hey. At least it's it's pretty decent in this game. Like most of the time, like if, if the, that's not egregious, it's fine, which is fun. And I just run Pulse Buckler on like my uh, my main build now. Expect a video on that soon. Uh, Sword and Boy 3.0 is coming, and ooh boy, is it mega fun! Like I, I absolutely love that build. I'm about to boom Widow though. Look at that! Just easily taking out that with quad. That was a quad with a shield, by the way, and it still stunned them through the shield. Like that's crazy to me, guys. Like, that is insanity. Good lord. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let me know. If, let me know think of this format. I'm going back to it. It's really, really fun. Uh, it's fun to show off builds. I plan on doing a build for almost every weapon that got buffed. Uh, I definitely want to try it. I definitely want to try a dual, double stun yield, double uh, zim build again. Just to see how, like, the difference of it. I might I might do that video, but honestly, that build's just not fun, so I don't know if I will. <laughs> but I definitely want to try out uh, all the buffed weapons, because we're, we're eating so good after this patch. This patch is just wonderful. Oh, extremely lucky stagger there by them. That, that container missile buff is... Pretty nice, not gonna lie. They're still not super great, but the fact that they are faster is so nice, because that, that buff definitely saved them there. They are taking some major damage if that, that uh, if I did not get staggered. But they're gonna take some major damage anyway, because Earshot. <laughs> and then the AP difference has been... <laughs> has been... <laughs> my god, man. It's been equalized. The AP has been equalized. I can't believe, by the way, that they had Assault Armor on this build. That is wild to me. Like, why would you run Assault Armor on that kind of build? Like, good lord. That's spooky. Oh, here we're fighting Ramen Book. This is a friend of mine. They're really freaking good at the game. Uh, they uh, they frequent my streams. They're very, very fun. As you can, <laughs> as you can see, they're in shot. I'm ready to die now. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're very fun to fight. This build is actually very scary when I'm playing the more, like, not honest, but like a more unoptimized build. They, they kick my butt, which is really fun. Speaking of optimization, the new Hokoshi gen is just ridiculous. Like, that is definitely one of the best gens now. Uh, the, the, the recharge time is really, really nice on it. The extra capacity is just exactly what it needed. Hokoshi goes crazy now. 
Anyway, as you all know, I have gone full time with this, so it's fits a lot more stuff. A lot more events like I'm doing uh, tomorrow with the Sunday tournament, which again, please sign up for that. I want to get at least 50 in there. I know that it is very, like, you know, uh, I know it's very last minute, but you know, from software decided to put the patch on Thursday, which was cool of them, <laughs> instead of giving me more time to prepare, but you know, it's fine. Uh, we're definitely going to be doing a tournament on Sunday, which will be very, very fun. Uh, but I've gone full time, and it's been absolutely wonderful. The support that y'all have given me is just insane. I went from like 70 subs to uh, to 314 now I think I'm at, which is just ridiculous. Y'all have been just extremely kind to me, so I expect a lot of events in the future. I want to do a Halloween themed AC event, where like you send in your uh, your AC that's like very festive and like Halloween themed. Die. <laughs> They even had a shield up, by the way. They had a shield up and they still died. Oh my gosh. God, Earshot is so dumb now, dude. It's awesome. Good lord. Anyway, I want to do a costume contest. Contest Expect that pretty darn soon. So definitely make sure to subscribe and everything, all that kind of stuff. Uh, did y'all know that most most people on YouTube watch through home? Like, I actually didn't know that until I started looking into this. Uh, subscriptions don't really matter a lot. That's why you see like these uh, channels like 400k subs and like 40k per, per video or uh, 40k viewers per video. It's because like the uh oh my god, dude, kick to javelin alpha is such a dumb combo. It's because most people watch from home, like instead of their sub box. It's pretty interesting actually. Like look, I could talk about YouTube all day. Like honestly, like it's such a cool platform to try to make your uh make a make a spot on. You know what I mean? It's so cool. Anyway, back to the ear shots. I, I legit think these things are just absolutely broken now. The reload did so much to them. It is just kind of insane. And Javelin Alpha already did do really good directed damage. Uh, so now the projectile speed buff is just... It's exactly what it needed. It really is. And they're up so often now because of the reload time. It's just... It, it, bazooka builds are eating so good. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> There's the ear shot into Javelin Alpha. Into another Javelin Alpha. Good lord. So they hit me with their own bazookas. As you can see, that was not that did not hit on my screen, but it still hit me. Uh, I really think bazookas desperately need to be uh, attacker side, especially now with the buffs, because they weren't that bad before. It was still annoying they weren't attacker side, but it wasn't that bad. Like the Morley was still really, really good. I don't think the Morley got buffed, which thankfully, because that Morley was already really gosh darn good. Uh, it's just now that oh, they died from that. Good lord. Uh, there's a reason why I put the heavy bipeds at the beginning of the video, just so y'all know this is not a just, oh, he's just bullying lightweights. No, this is, uh, this, th th I stunned a quad through a shield. <laughs> Good lord, man. Anyway, uh, I, I really do think these things to be the attacker side netcode, I uh, say defender side netcode, desperately. Because if I'm playing a lightweight or featherweight build and I dodge the bazooka, I should be rewarded for dodging the bazooka and not just get hit anyway. <laughs> But, you know, it's just the game that we play, so run Pulse Buckler, run, uh... <laughs> I'm talking about the 1.6 instant guard, by the way, because on lat, the uh, the 0.3 instant guard is not very good, so watch out for that. I plan on doing a, uh, a shield video at some point, just showing off, like, what shields are good and what when, when to use a shield, when to not use a shield. Because there's some that are easy, like the Pulse Buckler. You, know, you, you use it before you get hit and everything like that, but a lot of shields use kind of, like, hold up. Like, uh, not even just the Scootum, like the PS as well, like the basic shield. That's really good to just have on. It's, uh, shields are really fun. I like shields a lot. Dude, the, the fucking Chad just using the power bunker just smacked me. God, what an awesome player. Double ear shot. Javelin. Like, I, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. it it's a double ear shot. <laughs> ear shots are so gross, dude. They're so strong. Uh, my next video is gonna be a lightweight, by the way, so definitely uh, stay tuned for that. That's gonna be fun. Uh, I made a lightweight build that's just a monster. Like, double Viento on a lightweight now is so fun. Because Vientos have really bad, uh, like, eff like, effective range. But because Lightweights are so fast now, that doesn't matter. I'm just going to be right up next to you the whole time. It's so freaking cool. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, I love how Javelin Alpha is just uh, connected now. This build is so synergistic with, with itself. Because, like, you can hit the Javelins to get stagger, and then once the OCS Overload is down, you use the Ear Shots to punish. Or you can use the Double Ear Shot to, to stagger, and then use the Javelins to, uh, to punish. It's just really, really nice. Like, boom, boom, and then javelin, boop, javelin, boom. Look at that damage. Absolutely insane. They're kicking my butt the entire time. I got one ear shot off, and now they now look at their AP. Good lord. Man, it wouldn't that be a tracker video if I didn't miss every kick, huh? <laughs> look at my face, dude. It's not right. It's not right. 
Here we have a very weird build coming from our opponent here. I was very confused when I saw this. It's like Gatling with LR with Morley and Huxley. Like, it's kind of interesting. It's like you have a decent mid-range poke with LR, and then you have uh, your Gatling and Huxley that build up ACS train, and then you punch with the Morley. But, like, that's such a weird build, right? Like, that's a weird thing to try to do. My gosh. Ooh, we're actually we're actually getting messed up by it, which is kind of the, the funny thing. Do I lose this? No, I definitely don't. Like that the javelin, not gonna sugarcoat it. There we go. <laughs> Good lord, man, it's so fun. Oh, look, <laughs> I forgot I did that. But in trying to fucking do the ear shot in real life, God. Anyway, hopefully you're having a wonderful day. By the way, just letting y'all all know, uh, I'm I'm having a wonderful time. I'm going to a, I'm going to a Mongolian restaurant tomorrow with some friends. I'm excited about that. It's gonna be fun. I've decided to take Saturdays off to avoid burnout because burnout is real and it's going to come for me very soon. But expect daily uploads because, you know, again, this is my job now. I do this for a living, which is freaking awesome. And thank you all for making that happen. Uh, so, yeah, I'm all getting rewarded with a lot more events. Basically, if there's not a tournament going on, uh, if there's a tournament going on this week, that, that, uh, that weekend, I'm going to make sure y'all know about it. And if there's not a tournament going on that weekend, I'm going to host one myself because this is my job. My job is at Armor Core 6. I'm going to make sure y'all have all the events y'all need. I'm gonna make sure this game keeps its player base because good lord this game is awesome and I love it so much. And I'm glad there's a community that's so supportive that I can do this full time. And I can make absolutely sure that y'all get in tournaments, y'all get in events, y'all get in data content, y'all get in weekly podcast. And uh, because we hit the sub goal, I uh, yesterday y'all getting another bonus armored cast. So if you're a big fan of the, uh, the armored cast, which is the podcast I do every week on Armored Core 6, you'd be excited for that. I'm gonna try to get some cool people on for that one. Heck, I might even reach out to Ouroboros. I hope I can get them on. But Aurora's got that their hands full with uh, Lords of the Fallen, so maybe not. Anyway, now we're fighting uh, Shiro, which Shiro's a, a really cool fucking player. I really like fighting them. They actually kicked my butt with a lightweight kiting build right before this. Uh, just credit to them. They, lightweight kiters are a real problem now. Because, like, you used to just be able to run them down and, like, eventually get up close up to them. But now because of the speed buff and also the, attitudes to, the attitude recovery buff... They can kind of just, like, run from you the whole time. Like, both talked about in the podcast, there was a tournament virus bullet called the Rat, which was just, like, the fastest AC in the game, that all it did was just run from you and shoot missiles. Now, because the Apparatus was nerfed, that's been kind of, like, toned down a little bit, but you still have the VPM, you still have laser drones, and now you have laser turrets, too, so you can even, like, use those on your Rat builds. So, uh, I think FromSoft definitely needs to mess around with that. God, that... Our Assault boost should really do- Assault armor should really do more stability. Like, y'all saw that right there. I was able to tank the assault armor and just obliterate them. Like, that's so sad. <laughs> like, I should've gotten hard punished for that. Oh, this is a good one. This is the finale, by the way. I'm pretty sure that the video's over after this. But y'all do- y'all definitely want to stick around. This was so funny to me. Me clicking back on the screen, good lord. Y'all ever do that? You click back on the screen and just swing your left weapon. It's really funny. Anyway. Look, double ear shot. Actually, one actually missed, which is wild to me. Air shots do not miss often. Pew. Pew. And then not gonna sugarcut it. Double ear shot. <laughs> yeah, how you beat this boat is you don't stay in the ground. You really, really don't. You stay in the air. Because it's way harder to hit in the air. Like, I say that, but then look right there. <laughs> look at my face. I'm like, dang, I hit that? Good lord. I hit that, bro. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Uh, this poor soul, honestly. I feel like they might have just unlocked PvP. Because, like, look, their, their build's still called Loader 4. So I feel bad for uh, for obliterating him like this, but honestly, you gotta get your seed legs, dude. You gotta you gotta get obliterated to be to obliterate. Like honestly, javelin alpha, javelin alpha, not gonna sugarcoat it. Already like ab about to die. Good lord. So honestly, I don't blame him for this. They disconnected. They left. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I really don't. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the video. Hopefully, y'all have a wonderful day, and thank you all for your support.